This is Elsa, and today I have a new video for you. In this video, I'm going to talk about stress and solutions that I found on the internet and that I've heard of um, different people, and I tried to put them together for you so that if you ever uh, stress out, you have a list that you can listen to with um, tips that might work for you. So, everybody probably knows this feeling, right? You're stressed out and the reason can be a number of things. Today, I do want to talk about the reasons, the number of reasons why you could be stressed out but I would like to talk about the things that can help you so that the stress doesn't have to ruin your entire day and that you can just move on with your day and life in general. I've noticed over time that there are different kinds of stress. You have the stress that happens in the here and now, like right in the moment and then you have the stress, the chronic stress that you can have for a longer period of time when you stress about something that you can't really solve. Now, obviously I'm not a doctor. <laughs> um, I haven't studied this either, but what I did do is I spoke about having stress um, with a lot of people and a lot of people shared their experiences with me. Um, and I spoke with people who have short-term stress, um, long-term stress, and today I would like to share those tips and um, tricks with you and um, the knowledge that I've gained over time so that um, I might be able to help you with these tips. Let's talk about the short-term stress. For example, you can be at work or you can be at school or with your family, with your friends. You get a phone call. All these kind of situations. Maybe you're in a place that you're not familiar with. Maybe you're traveling. And then all of a sudden it can just happen. You stress out. And... Um, I made a little list for you with the things that you can ask yourself at the moments that you're stressed out. You can ask yourself these things um, and try to solve it this way. So what you can do is ask yourself these questions. What stresses me out so much right now? And number two is why does it stress me out so much right now? Is it worth stressing about? Because I notice that sometimes I can be stressed about things that I shouldn't be stressed about. <laughs> so that's the third question. And the fourth question is, what would make me feel better right now? So let me, let me repeat them for you one more time. What is stressing me out? Why does it stress me out? Um, is it worth stressing about? And um, what would make me feel better right now? So those are the first four questions that you can ask yourself when you're stressed out. So um, try to answer these questions as fast as possible because I've noticed that it's important to know where the stress is coming from and that you know the reason why you're experiencing um, this stress so that you can act upon it instead of letting it ruin your entire day because we probably know a lot of you probably know that feeling that you're stressed and that it can ruin your entire day and it's it's not worth it so try to analyze it and try to figure out why you experience it so that you can get rid of it as fast as possible and that it, that it doesn't influence your mood and your mind setting for that day. So, 
once you figure that out and you answer these questions and you notice that you still can't get rid of this acute uh, stress um, and even though you might feel that it's still not worth stressing about but you're still stressing about it I have a number of things written down for you that you could do um, to get rid of the stress I got these tips and tricks from the internet from my own experiences and from a few people on Facebook that replied to a status of mine a while ago and um, I can't memorize them so I have to look up uh, the list um, but it's right over there so uh, let me have a look um, something that really helped me over time is that if I'm stressed out and I can't do anything about it um, I always write it down I write down why I'm so stressed out because sometimes if you put it on paper you put it more into perspective and it can help you to let go of the stress the most ideal thing what I've noticed myself is that if you're stressed out what really helps is to talk about it with someone if you can share it with someone that's the best way because at least from what I've noticed. I obviously don't know what works for you, but maybe um, these things can help you as well. And maybe they're worth trying if you haven't tried it yet. So talking about it um, is like you put it into perspective even more and you put it more into reality. And because you share it, you can let go of it easier. Now the third thing um, that you could do is crying or yelling seems to be a big relief as well most of the time when I'm stressed out and there are people in the room I don't feel like crying and yelling <laughs> but most of the time I find a private spot and I just cry everything out um, and most of the time I feel a lot more relieved after that so if you haven't tried that and you do feel like crying or yelling just go for it and release that tension and release those emotions so that you can move on with your day now the fourth tip that I have for you is if this situation lets you try to take a nap sometimes it can help to take a little power nap of 40 minutes and it can clear your thoughts it can clear your mind so that you can continue with your day number five is try to think of something ha that makes you happy or if you are getting or if you're in a position that you can look up something on the internet for example that makes you happy or that makes you smile do that because most of the time when you make a shift in your emotions that can really really help you to become more positive again and to feel good in general now number six is try to think of all the obstacles and stressful moments that you had in your life in general and how you overcame those I'm always a big believer that you can that you can learn from the things that you already did in the past and if you already found a way how you can overcome stressful moments then you should stick with that but because you have different kinds of stress and because it can be related to different things in life you might need different methods and different things to actually uh, let go of the stress so try to think of those moments and try to gain strength out of the obstacles and the stressful moments that you already overcame now, number seven is realize that the stress that you're feeling right now is temporarily most of the time when I feel stressed I can get really down because I have the feeling like oh man I'm in this situation and it's never going to end but I also notice that if you keep telling yourself that it's temporarily and that you're not going to be stuck in this situation forever 
it does relieve some tension and some stress. So maybe you want to try that as well. Now number eight is if you like music, try to listen to some music that makes you feel good or try to watch, um, like I mentioned before, a video on the internet or a movie. Try to watch or listen to something that makes you feel good and that you, that you like listening to. Now number eight is you can do a breathing exercise. Sometimes when I'm stressed out I can just sit behind my desk and I just close my eyes and I just take a few deep breaths and I focus on my stomach and my breath and I really try to feel the air that's filling up my lungs and really try to focus on your well-being in yourself and try to imagine that every time when you breathe in you take all that tension and stress and every time when you breathe out you blow out all the stress and all the tension now this takes some practice before you really have the feeling that it works but once you get the hang of it it can be really I can really be a big relief. The last one that I have for you are a number of things that you could do um, when you're in a position to go outside. For example, at work when you have a lunch break or at school when you have a break. Um, when you're at home, if you're in a position to go outside. Even if it's raining, just go. Um, the things that you could do outside or the activities that you can do in general, indoors as well, are play a game or take a warm shower or bath maybe play with your pets go outside and do a workout or just take a walk outside um, do some drawing or painting you can also go outside and have a drive in your car or take a bicycle ride for example all the little things that you might enjoy, just try them out and see if they release some stress for you. Now, dealing with the stress and take away the stress right away when you feel it is always most ideal, but sometimes you're simply not in a position to do that, so I hope that you found these tips helpful and feel free to um, Share your story and your tips down below in the comment box. We are all different, so what works for me might not work for you. But I do hope that you can use this video as a guideline when you're stressed out and um, that some of these things will make you feel better. You can try different uh, tips that I gave you so that you can create your own little de-stress acute or you, that you can create your own little acute and de-stress routine so I would like to thank you very much for watching like I said, feel free to share your comments and tips and tricks down below in the comment section and please let me know if you would enjoy to see more of these type of videos and last but not least i love you guys so much you mean a lot to me